Hello, we have the Gun Cannon Heavy Arms type. I believe this is from MSV and I think Zeta Gundam as well. And uh, yeah, let's look at the description. This is a suit that you can get in uh, the current autumn event we're doing right now in GBO2. I say we're like I'm in charge of it. Uh, yeah, I believe you, you get the level one here because they also have level two. That's going to be the final reward. But the level one you can get by doing 35 just matches. It doesn't have to be rating. So no forcing yourself to do that if you at least want this suit for the level one, right? But uh, yeah, gun cannon beam rifle here. This is the gun cannon beam rifle. It does have, you know, a level four, one through four. Uh, you have blow. So uh, yeah, got to do a level six here. Oop, I should probably show the damage output there. There you go. And just in case there's a level six blow. And you have the heavy arms cannon times two. The heavy arms head Vulcan times two. The heavy arms cannon times two rapid. And you have the hand grenade E enhanced. I should also mention this was a clan suit at some point, by the way. So this will have uh, an inter interesting skill at the bottom here. But uh, yeah, you have high performance radar level two. You have high performance scope. Allows you to see your radar when you're zoomed in. You have observational data link level one. You have frontline support system level two. So yeah, pretty good to team up with other uh, suits that have this uh, skill. You have precision shelling. So whenever you're crouching or staying still in space, you get bonus firing strength. High performance aerospace gimbal level one, quick boost. You have glide structure, anti-blast stabilizers. So mobile suit explosions, not heavy stagger you, which is really interesting to have for a kind of like what people assume to be a mid-range to sniper range suit here. Uh, you have high performance balancers, which is really nice. I'm pretty sure every gun cannon except for one has balancers. Uh, you have high spec and back level one. Pursuit range auxiliary program. People are aware of this suit now since a lot of other suits now have this skill. Uh, you basically, suit gets toppled. Either they're on the ground or they're in the middle of being put to the ground. Uh, you'll increase damage against them by 15% with ranged weapons. And finally, you have overfeed on a 400 suit. For those that don't know, this was on the Zeku's Y. Uh, pressing touchpad fully recovers all weapon ammo gauges and activates this skill for a limited time, reducing the target's weapon reload time by 50%. <laughs> When this ends, affected weapons are temporarily unusable. If a ranged weapon is equipped while the skill is activated, reaction when hit by range attacks will be nullified. It cannot be reactivated. So it's a uh, once per life skill. And uh, yeah, you basically you can just keep unloading on somebody with this. Uh, and you get shock dampeners whenever you have your uh, range weapons out. Which is a interesting prospect for the suit to have. <laughs> um, pretty nice. So, as always, we start off with the first weapon here. We got the sniper beam rifle. Again, it's just the same weapon that the uh, gun cannon uses. So it's going to have the same properties, such as uh, stand still to fire. They should probably buff this actually to uh, reduce the amount of time you have to stand still after firing the weapon, in my opinion. But yeah, just to show it off one more time, I'm going to go straight to the Vulcans while I wait to charge that up because I kind of messed up there. <laughs> Let's go to the melee. You got the punch. Got too distracted talking, shooting the guy. Uh, yeah, good, good classic roundhouse kick here. And finally, you have the good old. Just. Ugh, fucking. Just kick him on the floor. It's always nice to, to land those as a uh, uh, gun cannon. And yeah, this uh, beam rifle does have really far range. This is basically a sniping suit, mid range suit as well. Uh, is a support, so charge us up and fire at the Gundam over here. I believe this is not penetrate unless somehow they buff the suit to do that. Uh, don't think so, so fire at the Gundam. 3,000 damage, you get a stun. Uh, you have the 12, 12, the 240 millimeter cannon. Gets you a basic stun here. Has a decent blast radius. I believe we'll stop right here, right? Yeah. And you have the Vulcan gun. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. Uh, so yeah, half your ammo. Uh, it does fire pretty fast, but uh, not going to be reliable. Um... 
And finally you have the 240mm cannon rapid fire. Looks like it will take three of both of the cannons when shooting to of the burst fire to get a stun. And just to showcase that again, let's go aim at the, the Gundam over here. See, I didn't even hit both of them. I was only hitting one at a time. And, uh, yeah, not the best for trying to get a stun, but it's really great for follow-ups. Uh, so you can basically just do that. I don't have it on quick swaps, unfortunately, but, yeah. Get some damage off. And, again, you will uh, get some pretty good damage output whenever you're going to hit somebody that's on the ground, right? Oh, a hand grenade as well. There you go. <laughs> so let's take my man over here. Just showing off a little bit here. And then we'll do overfeed in a second. I just want to get a good old combo on the gun when it drops on down. See how much damage we can get when we crouch and fire the two... 40 millimeter cannon, right? It's gonna be a little bit hard to pull off. Um, that's why you probably have a more support, right? So you want to be running around with a teammate, of course. So kind of hard to kind of pull off on your own. But you know, you can do something like that. Somehow, if they don't dodge roll, yeah, 1,000 damage per hit, pretty nice. Um, yeah, again. And since this is, it has a good range of, what, 600 range? Yeah, you can just sit somewhere and just dump on somebody from a distance and just follow up on this. You have it on quick swap and just, you know, get some extra damage in. Maybe throw in your beam rifle after a shot, right? Pretty good. Uh, activate quick feed. Oh, man, doesn't want to activate. There we go. Get a bit more stuff going on here. I think it'll go away if we use our beam rifle. Nope, we're good. And it should give us shock dampeners as well. Yeah, pretty nice uh, skill. However, it will uh, <laughs> you will not be able to use most of your weapons for uh, 20 seconds. So, this is one of those, you kind of want to use it in opportune moments, right? Maybe if you're in the middle of a big firefight, and you know you might get hit by a few things. Also, that still works, too. You can just downswing and go into your regular uh, <laughs> cannon, right? And again, that plus 15% damage is really nice to have. Um, so, yeah, it's... It works pretty well, like the game plan is pretty nice. You just sit somewhere mid-range somebody out, right? Maybe stick with a, uh, a support. A support a uh, general, my bad. Sorry, I saw the color blue on this. <laughs> ah, that was close. Yeah, pretty, pretty nice suit. Um... Probably want to start off with the cannons. Poke a little bit with uh, the rapid fire. Throw in some beam rifle shots. Yeah, if you can hit it, you know. Or, you know, you can just sit in the corner, snipe. If you want to be that guy, right? Get a good distance. Just throwing fire towards somebody, right? And I already have played a match with it. And I think it's... um. Pretty nice so far. Oh, I should also mention that uh, you have the the badass counter here. The nice punch in the face. And you should be able to follow up with oh nice nice three thousand damage. Probably follow up with uh, some Vulcan shots. Not sure about the forty two hundred forty millimeter rapid fire, but oh yeah, you can also cancel this too, just in case. So yeah, this, honestly, the way it, uh, it kind of just reminds me of, um, you guys ever seen the uh, the original Gundam show? Just, <laughs> the gun cannon just blows away everybody, just, just 
basically how it functions in the, in the show it just keeps rapid firing at people and just destroying 500 fucking Zaku's on screen, right? And then, you know, it kicks one down from the back like this. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, looks like a pretty good support. Can't wait to uh, play more of it. I've only played one match with it, um, but it did work pretty well for me. Just uh, be careful if you're going to initiate with the rapid fire first. Since it doesn't... Uh, you have to hit a good portion of the shots to get a stun. But uh, yeah, should be pretty good for all the gun cannon lovers out there. And it does have some interesting skills like overfeed and uh, uh, range auxiliary programs. So maybe you can do a range build or if you want to be that guy, I'm not sure if it has leg breaking potential, but maybe you can put some leg breaking parts on it. So who knows? But uh, yeah, I love it. <laughs> oh.